okay so first we're going to install app image launcher and then we're going to install app image pool via flat pack so for app image launcher we're gonna find the ppa it's a good thing they have it in their github repo app image launcher and we're gonna click on wiki and because we're using ubuntu we're gonna click on ubuntu or debian so we're gonna run these commands over here you can just copy the commands paste them in our terminal press enter type your password and just give it a second now let's see if we can find our application right over here in my face this is the default location where your app your app images will be downloaded to so we're just gonna click OK to that and now we are going to install app image pool so that we can have so sort of a software center for app images so I'm gonna clear my screen and I'm gonna type flat pack search app image it's probably just one word yep app image pool this is the app that we want and here is the application ID so we're gonna copy this and we're gonna type flat pack install and the ID of the application I'm gonna select the default and again give it a second for it to complete and it will be done in a moment okay so now let's open app image pool and let's search for cool retro term cool right over here cool retro term click on download and then let's select the cool retro term 1.1 select the tick box and then click on download notification will appear over here when the download is complete see download is complete if you click on it it will show you now we can close app image pool please browse it on your free time and now let's go home and notice that you have a new folder here called applications and here you have your app image so I'm just gonna launch this so that it gives me the option to integrate it to my system oh wow it didn't do it that's interesting let's click on applications system tools it's possible that app image launcher doesn't work in this version of GNOME in GNOME classic I have first time testing it uh, well what can be done and that's it that concludes our practice on app image pool so here is this uh, cool retro application for us to type commands.